If you're joining us for the first time, I recommend you take a step back and watch this video series starting with episode one. Hey everyone, JP Emanuel here, and we're hanging out at Haas Brew House with my fellow SolidWorks teammates, Brian, Mark, and Earl. And we're just about ready to start brewing this new batch of beer. But before we start, let's find out what Earl is working on behind me. So Earl, can you tell us a little bit more about what's going on today in the, the prep work that we need to do for the brew day? Sure, so I started out by identifying what kind of style of beer we wanted to make. So I'm, we're brewing today an IPA. And then I went through the process of cleaning and sanitizing the equipment so it's ready for today's efforts. And then finally, I'm, I made a, a yeast starter to help uh, get the uh, brewing process started once we have the beer ready. Sounds awesome. I'll let you get back to uh, finishing up all the prep work before we actually start getting into the next step, mashing. Well, I know I'm pretty excited about today's brew day and personally, I can't wait. So very similar to our brewing process, there's definitely some prep work that needs to happen in SOLIDWORKS Electrical before we simply start dropping in symbols and drawing wires into our schematic. Software implementation is a key factor in making sure we get our projects completed correctly and efficiently. In order to be successful at this stage, it's a great idea to sit down with your team and your local value-added reseller to come up with what is known as an implementation plan. During this planning phase, we have the ability to make sure your title box are created correctly, the types of reports you plan to generate are tailored to your liking, and even create a standard color scheme for all the various wires that you, you, and, you and your team use. Performing this task up front will only help us downstream as the project progresses. Do this once and we won't have to do it again, because once it's been created, we simply save it as a template. Now that it's saved as a template, we don't have to worry about all this back-end information for the next project. It's all saved for us. We can even go as far as adding items such as that standard note page that we include in every project. It's all about streamlining our development and getting our designs to market faster. This is just a glimpse into some of the details we recommend taking advantage of as we start using SOLIDWORKS Electrical. For more detailed information and tutorials on how to perform all of these smaller steps, log in to mysolidworks.com and search for Electric Brewery. Do you have an idea for a SolidWorks electrical how-to video? Post a comment and the team here will work on creating a valuable video for all of our users to take advantage of. If you're a fan of Twitter, you can follow me at Sweecat. That's S-W-E-C-A-D. So let's have some fun and continue brewing. We'll see you next time on Brewing with Electricity, the SolidWorks Brewery.